to dual boot your Steam Deck, you're going to need the following items. One USB with Windows 10 and, or 11 and then one with Steam OS, a keyboard and mouse, and a USB Type-C hub. Both videos will be in the descriptions for ease of use. This video was cut down to help people understand the following. So what we're going to want to do is hit your plus button and power and boot up into your boot management. And once we get there, what we are going to do is get ready to install or reinstall SteamOS. So what we want to do is hit reinstall Steam Deck, let it do its thing, hit proceed. Once it done, gets done with that, do not hit proceed, let's hit cancel. Let's go over to your Steam applications, go to systems, go to KBE manager, scroll down to the location you're going to install it in, both with the same procedures. I am going to install it on my M.2 internal. We are going to want to scroll down until you see home at the very bottom. Once you get that, we want to right click to hit resize slash image. Now, don't do what I did. I just put the bare minimum of 70 gigabytes. I would advise you to make a decision on what side of operations you're going to work in and go from there. But I would recommend doing 50% on both if you're going to use them both equally. So what we're going to do once that's done, you'll see an unlocated file up here. We're going to right click that, hit new, go to file system, and we're going to scroll all the way down to NTFS, hit OK. Once we get that done, you'll see the new partition on the very bottom. We're going to go up to upper left, hit apply, apply appending operations, hit OK. Let us do its thing. It won't take too long. Hit OK. So now we're going to rescan, and if done correctly, you will see your new folders down at the bottom of the Steam Deck. So now we are going to go over, we're going to reset your Steam Deck. And once that is done, we are going to get ready to go through the welcoming screen to install everything correctly. So just follow the on screen prompts. Mine is, of course, sped up. Note if you do have slower internet, it can have issues reinstalling itself a few times. No worries, it will get there. It will take time. So let's get started by going back into the boot menu by hitting your plus and power button and getting ready to install Windows. So you insert your Windows USB into your USB hub or deck. Go over to Boot Management. Scroll down to the USB that has your Windows 10 or 11 installed. Once your on-screen Windows install comes up, turn your screen to get better situated. Hit Next. I'm using Windows 10 in this because it is more stable, but Windows 11, where you can refer back to the video on how to install that, links will be in the description also. Same procedure, you just need Rufus. I do not have, anyway, back to the video, I do not have product key. Again, I'm going with Windows 10. Feel free to do Windows 11. I click Windows 10 Pro. Next. Let it accept the terms. Go down to custom. Once that is done, we're going to scroll all the way down to the very bottom to the partition you just created with the amount of storage that you have. Once that is found, just click it. Once that is complete, you will be presented with your on screen props. Just hit OK on there. You'll be presented with this screen. Let us do its thing. It can take a few moments, just be patient with it. Once you get done, you're going to go to the USB, the drive that has your Windows drives on it. So a little bit about this. So see these, your NAU folder and your CSJ folder, you will need to right click and it hit extract all and it will come up with a system information and you right click on that and install. So just follow the on-screen procedures at this point. Everything will be the same minus the two that I just said. Windows 11 will be different. Just follow what's on the screen. So once everything is done with the setup and we are ready to do everything, it will take a few moments for everything to work properly. 
again, if you're on Windows 10 or I mean Windows 11, just follow the one screen prompt that I'm showing you now. Windows will do its work and you will just make sure you install. So we're going to turn off our Windows and go back into boot management by hitting your plus and power button. And what we are going to do this time is go back over to boot management and go to Steam OS and load up Steam OS. It will be presented on your SD that you just installed or your location you just installed on. Once we get that done, we are going to go down to Steam menu, go to power, switch to desktop. Once we get there, we are going to get ready to go down to your browser of choice. If you want to make it very easy, this is all CAD sensitive information. So that is why I would advise for the easier route or less experience to just watch this on your Steam Deck and copy and paste everything. So let's get back to this. Go to systems, consoles, type in the following commands into your command prompt and just let it do its thing. Once done correctly, you will be ready for the next step, which is to turn off your Steam Deck for the very last time and get ready to enjoy the show of dual. Enjoy our new boot system on our Steam OS. So what I would do after getting everything set up is, and first things first, is install all updates for your Windows 10 or Windows 11 drivers. And at this point, you're just ready to experience the best of both worlds. Enjoy.